conversation was weird. And then for her to sit and be like, I voiced my opinion, I got yelled at. No, you didn't get yelled at. I was talking to you. Mm -hmm. I never yelled at her when she voiced her fucking opinion, number yeah. one. And number two, if you're gonna fucking act sketched out when I'm asking you a freaking question, then yes, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be okay. So it's okay for you to lie and then put that on me. No, fuck you. You could go fuck yourself. Both of them did it. Well, if you ask me, I don't feel this person. She never got yelled at. I don't get why she's saying that she got yelled at. When she said it, I, you were voicing your opinion, and so was I in that moment. Did I yell at her at the table? I think she's referring to like the conversation you guys had later or whatever. Like right here when she came no, down and asked, like or what when was you the guys thought? had that argument or whatever. I think she's referring to. It's probably like right here. That conversation wasn't about Dylan or oh, Emily okay. though. It was about what like. I'm like, what's your problem? Like, why are you walking around yeah, like that? That's, yeah. what, that, that's that, what that conversation was about, okay. type of thing. So I just kind of feel like, at the table, when you voiced your opinion, I also just voiced mine. Mm -hmm. You just didn't agree with it. And number two, if you're gonna lie and be like, you don't know, you don't know when you know what you're doing, and then be like, if I say I don't know, then it's a problem. And if I, we congregate and then we say how we truly feel, it's a problem. No, you lied. You're a liar fuck out of here and then to be like oh we have something good here no you're a liar they want him they want Dylan to stay because they want him to come after us that's what I think they know that it's a better ch every single person in this alliance is very selfish they know that if Dylan stays here he's coming after us they think if Emily stay here she's going after them so to them it's better us than them right now is what it seems like yeah. They could all go fuck themselves, what I feel like after that conversation. Netta sits there, plays the fucking victim. Her and Jackie should be best friends because they played the victim very well. I don't know. You weren't seeing, but you were listening. What did you hear? As you were, because sometimes when you close your eyes and you listen, yeah. you hear more than what yeah. you see. No, I just, like, it's exactly what we all heard. It just feels like mutual voices' opinion and. I don't know if everyone was really listening or really taking in what other people are saying. No, because I don't care because they're a bunch of liars. And I just feel that, like, 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 it seems like Kevin wants to keep Dylan. No. Yeah, Kevin wants to keep Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Bruno wants to keep Dylan. Yeah. Netta. Yeah, because. Keep Dylan. Exactly. Yeah. And. For their they, safety. They, they have Jackie. Because if they really feel like, well, because they just said, well, He'll go after William Dre. He really likes Dre. He's not going after, he's not put Dre in the block. He yeah. likes Dre. And for they were not telling him to put Jackie on the block. They're telling him to put me and Dimitri on the block. Yeah. So that is exactly what he will do. Yeah. What they've been telling him for 30 fucking days. Yeah. And the fact that they want to sit back there and act like I am making them scared of seeing how they feel is bullshit. Yeah. That's what I heard. Them acting like, I scare them so they can't see how they fucking feel. They could go fuck themselves. That's how I feel. I hope Dre fucking wins HOH and stick their asses on the fucking block. They could all go fuck themselves. I don't know what to do. I don't care. After this, I'm done. You guys are selfish. You guys have gotten what you want every single week. Every single week. You've gotten exactly what you wanted. And the one week, we're like, what the fuck? This is, you guys are doing this, keeping this person here to fucking come after us. Because they think, they know. And he's like, well, he's angry at me and Kevin. So if he's angry at you and Kevin, then why the fuck do you want him here? Motherfucker liar. You're a fucking liar. He feels like he could rope him back in, which is why he wants him back here, and that's the truth. You could go fuck yourself too, Netta. This is an alliance. This is about three people getting what they want every single week, and that's it. And that's it. And they all sat out there and made it seem like they can't voice their opinion because people get upset. When have they ever voiced their fucking opinion? When? Tell me one time, when? She said her piece and I said my piece right there, and that was it. The argument that we had was not about the vote. It was about her attitude. They could all go fuck themselves, all of them.
Kevin, did you tell Emily and Dylan that um, Dimitri and I are the heads of the snakes and they should crush us? Not at all. Not at all. Like, are you putting targets on me and Dimitri's back, you, Netta, and Bruno? Because that's what they told us. Eka, remember that conversation with HOH room when you said, I, I asked you permission to make Yeah, but three. you said Dimitri and Ika. I never said to put us both no, under the bus. I said you could throw one. Ika, I've always said Dre and Ika. I've always tried to keep one of you off the block. Ika, my ad, they don't mean anything to me in this game. Mm -hmm. Clearly they do, though. I don't know. If I have to pick between Dylan and Emily, one of them is going to be better for me. They're very mad at me because I won the veto and didn't use it. They're, they're extremely mad at me. I just hope that shows that the sexes matter to me way more than them. Well, I feel like for the last couple of days, people in this alliance have made me feel like I'm at the very, very bottom when I've done nothing but try to help people in this fucking alliance. If I'm asking people a question, I asked Bruno three times, what do you want to do? So I know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then he's going to sit out there and be like, he doesn't feel comfortable saying. And now when he feels comfortable to problem, when he doesn't feel comfortable to problem, you go fuck yourself, Bruno. People are scared of voicing their opinion. When have they ever voiced their fucking opinion? When? When? I voiced my opinion. Netta voiced her opinion out here, and so did I. I never yelled at her. Mm -hmm. She said something and I said something. The minute she doesn't get her fucking way, she acts like a fucking child. This alliance is bullshit. Every single week, you guys vote and you guys get exactly what you want. You guys do what's, ever, what's in the best for you, Bruno, and Netta, and that's how I see it. You don't care if anybody else in this alliance is a target, as long as you guys are not. I've never thrown you and Dimitri under the bus it, together. Well, that's, I don't, it's he always, swore on his knees that it's you been said, and Ica. you said, you, Netta, and Bruno, all this time have been pushing them to get me and Dimitri out of this house and put us both on the block, is it's what they always, said. It's always been Dre. That's what they told Dre. Karen, but it's always been Dre. I've always tried to protect you on the side. So he swore on his knees and lie. I have I always, it's always trying to be Dre and Ika. I've always tried to keep one of you off the block. Every conversation I've had with them, I've ran back and told you. This week, I fought against them head to head in the veto to win it, to make sure the nominations don't change. I just hope my actions show, you know, a little bit. Just Neto. And I just asked him that just now. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring it up to Bruno. Is that okay? I don't care. You could ask him whatever you wanna ask him. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust him. I don't trust him or Netta at this point. And when she's sitting there talking about of course, no, she's fucking lying. She's such a fucking liar. Well, since people feel like they get yelled at when they voice their opinion, then I don't want to be a part of any discussions about what should do. So you guys decide what should do and let us know how to vote. And that's it. Because they have put it in their heads that they're the victim and I'm some kind of person who's not unreasonable when they're the ones going around lying. It's really fucked up. 
I've never lied to Neto or Bruno, not one time in this game. So that, that they could go around lie and then be like, well, this or that or this or that. It's very baffling to me. I never yelled at that girl at that table. And when the argument we had here was not about a vote, it was about her attitude. I'm like, what's your problem? Mm. And she was like, well, I felt like you yelled at me at the table. I'm like, I never yelled at you at the table. And that's where that conversation went. It had nothing to do with a vote. And then she's like, well, I don't even care about the vote. I don't care about blah, blah, blah. I'm like, if you don't care, then why are you so mad? Mm. That's, that conversation was not about that. It was about her attitude. Her attitude. That's what I asked. I'm like, what's up with you? I'm like, what's wrong with your attitude? Like, what's your problem? It wasn't about she saying I yelled at her at the table. These people are so weird. This wasn't a discussion. This was just them telling us how they're going to vote. And that was it. Not a discussion. You guys have the numbers, so you know how you want to vote. And you simply don't give a fuck. I don't know why I found myself working with people like this. I don't understand.